All right. I brought with me a pencil here. And uh, this pencil, huh? No, you can't have it. It's not mine. I borrowed it. And um, But you can buy one at the store. You already have one already? Okay. Uh, I think maybe across the street they've been selling. Dollar General, things like that. H-E-B, Walmart, <clears throat> Target, any of those kind of stores. Now, I brought with me a pencil this morning. I brought a big pencil with me this morning. You have a big one too? Well, I think, you know, a lot of people see Jesus as having a big pencil. And they see God as, as this man upstairs and that every time we do something wrong, he says, okay, I got it. I'm writing it down. Didn't want to sit down there, did you? Well, you can sit up here. Come on up here. Yeah, that's where you want. Come right on up here. You don't want to be at the bottom of the stage. You want to be at the top. Oh, you don't know anything. All right. You better now? Is that better? Okay. You've given her the eye, aren't you? Okay. So, God, a lot of people see God as every time we do something wrong, He writes it down on His list, kind of like Santa Claus. He's keeping an eye on us, writing it down. He's checking it twice. And we best not have been naughty. We best been nice. Or else, Santa Claus won't bring us anything. But that's not God. That's the way a lot of people see God. They see Him as having a pencil and writing down every time we do something wrong. And that's a sad view of God. So we're going to talk about God this morning and uh, with the big adults. But I want you to know, children, that Jesus is not in the business of writing down all your sins. You know that? He didn't write down any of your sins. Isn't it nice to know? But you know, every time you sin, every time you do something wrong, every time you don't honor God, it writes down in your heart, and you feel bad about it. And you may hurt other people too. But God doesn't keep a list of you're doing wrong. You know why? God knows we've sinned. It only takes one sin. There's no need to keep a list. And the only way we can get God to erase our sins is to believe that Jesus died for us and that He erased our sins. When He went to the cross, He erased all of our sins. And they're gone. And when we stand before God in heaven... He's not going to be checking a list twice. He's just going to look at us and He's going to want to know, what did we do with Jesus? That's all He's going to care about. What did we do with Jesus? Now, you know, sometimes people come to church and they sit in church and they sing the songs and they listen to the sermon. Maybe they even take notes. You know what? It doesn't change them. The only way to be changed is to give our hearts to Jesus and to make Him a boss in our life, and then honor Him. Isn't that what you want to do? That's what I want to do. I sin. I do bad things. Jesus is not keeping a list of my sins. He's forgiven me already because I believe Jesus died for me. Okay? Well, thank you all for helping me with this this morning. You did real good. And did you like that seat? Was that a good seat you finally got? Okay, good. All right, you can sit there again another time. Okay, thank you. You can go to children's church now. All right, forgive your mother.